Hey, what's good, y'all? It's Trill, and today we got the Sony XG300 in the building, and frankly, I ain't really got no time to waste here. I just gotta go and get this done, so I'm not gonna BS my way through this video. Let's just get into it. So before I even get into this video, I want to shout out Sony because they did give this to me, like actually gave it to me, they didn't send it out to me, I actually met up with them in person. Now that's not going to alter my opinion about how I feel about it, but I want to go put that out there for clarification just so y'all ain't left in the dark. So again, shout out to Sony for sending this out to me, or I mean handing it to me, I appreciate it. But I did want to go and review this thing because I never had a Sony speaker before, and if you look online right now, it goes for 350 retail, but right now it's actually going for 200 on sale. So first up, let's go and talk about the build quality and design on here. So I'm actually feeling the build quality on here. You got this like mesh fabric all around here, and then you got some plastic on the sides with some rubber and all that. Now the design is going to be subjective. I feel like not everybody's going to be feeling it, but in my personal opinion, I don't think it's ugly and I don't think it's beautiful. I just think that it looked good, I guess. Pretty much what I'm saying is it kind of looked like a basic Bluetooth speaker. And when you turn it on, you get the lights on there, which is cool, I guess, but it's still not like standing out or nothing like that. I don't really know how they can stand out, but I'm just saying, I don't really think it's not going to stand out for you. Now as for the weight, when I pick this thing up, it's definitely got a decent amount of weight to it. So you're not going to be able to bring this thing everywhere, which is why you have a handle on here, which we'll talk about in a second but the weight is like a little bit on the heavier side, but for this size, I don't think it's that bad. Next up, let's go and talk about using the speaker in the app. So let's look around the speaker real quick, right? We got the hand over here, which you can just go ahead and pull up and use it like that. You got the power button, we got the Bluetooth button, we got the mega bass button, so you can just go ahead and turn it on or off to reduce or up the bass. You got the play pause, answer call decline, all that stuff. We got the volume down, we got the volume up. On the right side, we got a tweeter. On the left side, we got a tweeter. At the bottom, you can actually see that we got some feet, and if we look at the back real quick, check this out. So we got a USB A port to go ahead and charge your phone. We got the audio in we got a dc in 5 volts so that's going to be a usb c and you're going to need a bigger charger for this thing so we got battery so that's going to be how you're going to go ahead and check your battery life and then we got battery care so i personally still don't even really know what this is about i tried looking into it but i couldn't really figure it out but as you can see here if i go and hold on to it now it should be in battery care. It might just be that it charges up to 80%, but we also got the light button here, so you can go ahead and turn that on or off whenever you want. Now as for the app, at least from what I could tell, the app is pretty basic for the speaker side. But anyway, just looking around here real quick, you got the speaker here, we got a group of other speakers, so you can pair it to multiple speakers. Now I don't have another one to do it with me right now, but that is pretty dope. And then you also got the library here, so I got all my music in here. Which at that point, I'm like, why wouldn't I just use Spotify? But anyway, we got the battery percentage and all that stuff right here. We got feastable i still don't even really know what that is we got audio in here so that's just to go ahead and control that which ain't really doing nothing either we got all my music services i can just go ahead and click on the launcher and then we got settings over here so we got the sound so if i go and click on that you can go ahead and customize all that right there with the dj effect and everything we also got my power options so if i go and click on that we got battery care and all that stuff that i already told you all about and bluetooth standby we got illumination so if i go and click on this real quick you can actually go ahead and customize how the lights actually react to the music so that's pretty dope we got cool we got calm daylight we got all this stuff we got system here, so I mean, that's really nothing either. And then we got management of Bluetooth connected devices. So you can go and go through all that if you want to. And then also if I go and back up out of this and go and click on this menu button, you can see that I can turn it off just from here. So I mean, I guess that's fine. I guess that's cool. There's just not that much on here for me to go ahead to talk about. So I mean, that's pretty much the app for y'all. Next up, let's go and talk about the battery life on this thing. So yeah, the battery life on here, Eee, that's kind of interesting. I'll just say, well, I'm not going to just say, but I don't really know why they put a USB-A port in here if the battery's just not going to be up there like that. Because to be honest with y'all, the battery up there just ain't really rocking with me. And when I say that, I mean like the battery life out here just straight, just not there. Like, I don't know what it is, but I tried and I tried to use this more and it, the battery life just ain't going. I pretty much only use this thing in the shower, right? So I turn the volume all the way up and I only get like maybe two listening sessions out of this thing before it's already dead. I'm like, what the f did I do? Y'all talking about 25 hours? hours of battery life hell no that ain't it at all you nowhere near close to 25 hours even 25 hours i feel like isn't even that good to be honest with y'all just to keep it a buck with you like if you look at other speakers like this size i feel like you could get better but yeah battery life on here it just really ain't even that good next up let's go and talk about the sound quality on here so we're gonna go and pull up some spotify real quick and i'm gonna let y'all listen in real quick if we locked in and no switching up brody came home with the pick him up so y'all heard it for yourselves. Maybe it's because I'm a bass head or something like that, but I mean, it sounds clear and everything, but the bass just, I don't know. I feel like that's a little deceiving in my opinion. Just looking around it, I feel like it could do better. And on top of that, it's not like it's gonna be 360 sound or anything, which I'm used to on my UE Mega Boom, which is a lot smaller of a speaker. But at the same time, I'm used to that 360 sound. I'm really feeling it on there. When I come back to this, I feel like it's a little bit of a downgrade. I'm not gonna lie. Like, let me get my Mega Boom real quick. If we locked in, ain't no switching up. Brody came home, went to pick him up. If we locked in, ain't no switching up. Brody came home, 
with the pinky mode. So this is definitely louder, but this I can definitely tell is like deeper in volume, which is kind of crazy because if you just look at these side by side, right? Look at the size difference. That's what I'm saying. I hear it is pretty loud and everything, and I love how it sounds. But at the same time, I feel like I'd just rather pick this up at this point. And you know what? That's what the Mega Bass on. So if it was off, imagine how that would sound. Next up, let's go and do a phone call test real quick. So I'm gonna go and grab my landline. We're gonna go and see how this thing sounds because you can't take calls on this thing. Let's see how this thing sounds. So this is gonna be a sound test of the Sony SRS XG-300. So let me know how this sounds with the full volume. I'm talking to my landline real quick. So let me know how it sounds through the speaker. And now this could be me talking directly into the Sony speaker. So I got my iPhone with me, but I ain't got it next to me. I got it in the living room and I'm in my room. So let me know how the sound quality is talking into the speaker. All right, so now this is the point where I wanna go and start getting to the likes and dislikes about this. So we're gonna start off with the dislikes, starting off with this handle right here. So I'm not really feeling this handle right here. It's just awkward. So you know your little shower curtain bar thing, right? I don't really know what it's called, so don't make fun of me. But I tried to go ahead and hang it on there. And just It was just kind of sitting there like that. So that's why, I mean, I feel like it would just be a lot easier if it just stood there right in the middle like this. This is just kind of awkward to me, in my opinion. I know it's easy to go ahead and just slide it up and down like that, but still, I just don't really feel like I'm liking that. Like I said, though, this would be nice, but but this, I'm not really feeling. Next up, it's pretty much an app. So I feel like it's pretty basic in my opinion. So if you want the app, you're gonna have to go over here to Music Center. You're gonna have to look that up in the App Store or the Google Play Store. But this is what you get, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I feel like we should have more options than this. Like, yeah, you can't update your speaker and all that stuff through here, but I feel like at the same time, I feel like we should definitely have more options through the app. Next up is the fact that it's a portable speaker, but it really ain't that portable. So it do got a little bit of weight to it and the handle is just kind of awkward. And overall, I feel like it's just not really there for me. I mean, to be fair, for a speaker this size, I don't really think anybody's gonna think it's that portable to begin with. But at the same time, I kind of feel like that. I wish it was a little bit more portable than this. Next up is that this thing is not cheap. It's 350 bucks compared to 200 bucks. That's a lot of money. And I feel like for 350 bucks, they definitely should have did more with this thing. But I mean, at the same time, here we are. I just don't think that it's worth 350 bucks, which I'm kind of spoiling the video now. But for the sale that is at right now, 20 bucks, oh yeah, I definitely think that's a good deal. But at the same time, 350 bucks, I don't know if I can stomach that. And another dislike I got about it is that it got no 360 sound. So I feel like, yeah, it should definitely have 360 sound. But at the same time, I'm not really too concerned about that because yeah, this is nice and all, but when I just picked this up, and it's just got enough volume as it is, just with the speaker facing this way. So now let's go and talk about the things I like about it. So the first thing that I like about it is, at least it got a handle, all right? So just holding it like this, that would not be a fun experience in my opinion. So I would definitely give that some marks on that, but this got a handle on here, so that's cool. I appreciate that, that at least got a handle, and it's easy. All I gotta do is just pull it up like this, boom, done. Go ahead and push it down like that, done. Next thing I like about it is the light. So y'all saw with the music before, so it do actually react with the light. So let me go and play some music real quick. So, nah, ain't no blunt, ain't no falling off. I done put too many in nigga, ain't no falling off. A little hard to see, but you can't see that I do react with the music. Next up is that it actually connects to two devices. So I actually have it connected to my Fold, or at least I had it connected to my Fold and my iPhone at the same time. So I can go ahead and switch between those whenever I want to. So I think it's that newer Bluetooth technology that actually allows me to do that, which is pretty dope. So, I mean, I like it. So overall, can I recommend the Sony XG300? Honestly speaking, no, I can't. Well, at the sale, yeah, I do think it's recommended. But at the same time, with the 350 bucks, no. I just feel like you can get better speakers like this. Like, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit quieter, but just get a UE Megabone 3. You're not gonna regret it. I love this speaker. I was literally just using it last night. I brought it over to Mike's crib last night. We're gonna just leave it at that. And it was a pretty good experience. So I appreciate y'all for coming through. Like I said, I really do gotta go though, but I did wanna go and get out as much info as possible. So hopefully I did enjoy this and hopefully this video was helpful to you. I know I was in a rush, but at the same time, like I said, I didn't really wanna skip out on anything. As far as I can tell, I did get everything I wanna cover. So hopefully I enjoyed this, man. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. Go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Santec on Instagram and Twitter, and Facebook, but Instagram and Twitter is the most active. And stay tuned, because I definitely got more content coming soon, and I will be doing kind of a hiatus in a second, so I will tell y'all about that in this future video, but for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave y'all at that. Anyway, appreciate y'all for coming through. I gotta hop on 994. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Damn. <laughs>